Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to check out the Flyhair FC610 which is a brushed truggy in a one-tenth scale and it looks quite promising and I bet I will have fun trying it and you will have fun watching it. And here it is, we're talking about the Flyhair FC610 in green it's a 110 scale ready to run off-road four with truck. proper shocks ball bearings and a brush motor it's supposed to be splash proof but yeah we have some plastic in the diffs and gears let's see how that will work out and here we have a little message from the manufacturer some photos on how it's supposed to look inside And some may have seen this version being advertised as a Flyhell slash HBX because the brand is Flyhell, but the manufacturer, as you can see, is Highboishing Short HBX. And if I'm remembering correctly, also Besga have this one in their lineup. Now let's open it up. Ta-da! So we have some sticker sheets, but I will not use them. I will put my own on there. But it's nice that you have them twice. So as always, please read the instruction manual. Okay, what else do we have? So I bought the version with two batteries. It's a LiPo 1600 mAh, a USB charger. A wrenching tool and some spare nuts, spare body clips and the remote. The steering knob is quite foamy, it's a bit difficult to reach, but I have relatively small hands. I think this is for lights. Everything is fully proportional, but the remote feels kind of plasticky, but it's all right for the price. As you can see, I really have to stretch up my thumb to reach everything. We have steering trim, and of course you can adjust the speed which is great when you start to learn and then want to crank it up a notch. Some warning sticker. So if you didn't know, wait until it's binded before you touch anything on the remote. It's a brushed version, but it seems to be one of the good ones. We have LEDs in the front and on the roof. Also, there's a clear film, which I do not take off. I wait until it's completely kaput. The tires seem quite nice. I think they're yeah, relatively soft and kind of grippy. Without the extra stickers it looks a little bit boring, but I will put some on top. Now let's see those shocks in action. Now let's have a look inside. The LEDs are connected with this flexible wire, which is not so easy to get nicked. The battery is connected with a Deans or a T plug. And it's held in place by this Velcro strap. We have a 550 brushed motor with a heatsink because, of course, they can get hot. The size of the motor should be fine for the size of the car, since it's relatively light. There we have the servo, we'll see how it holds up. The ESC also fitted with the heatsink. And the shocks are actual oil shocks, which I like. Remote on. Car on. on okay now the servo seems to be moderately strong but it, i think it will be okay for our car it's driving straight without any issues that is nice what you see is already the top speed but there's still some fun to be had so get ready for the montage
here's what I think of this car. I do think it's a great start into the hobby with this one. You get lots of good parts and spare parts are also not that expensive and you can also easily upgrade. So if you are or if you know someone who is either a kid or an adult who wants to start in this hobby, this is a great opportunity to get started and a cheap one too. If you like this video, give it a like and support the channel by subscribing and maybe leave a thanks. Thank you for watching.